Hey everyone! Happy Valentine's Day out there. Hope you guys are enjoying your day so far. Today I want to show you a delicious treat. It's called Portuguese Melisadas and they were absolutely delicious. It's a Portuguese donut and I've been eating this since childhood. Some Portuguese Melisadas for Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe with me. My hair out of the way and we're just going to start off here at the stove. So that's two cups of milk. Here are two tablespoons of butter. And a teaspoon of lemon rind, which I have already washed the lemon already, so. I love the flavor of lemon, fresh taste to your, to these donuts. And what, we're just going to be warming that up until the butter is all melted and just comes, you don't want it to come to a boil, you just want to melt the butter and just so it is warmed up a bit. Okay guys, so right now we're just going to start on the dry ingredients. And I have four cups flour here. It's already measured, it's just four cups flour. I'm just putting it into this bigger bowl. And half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just using the shaker right now. I can't find my other one, so just half a teaspoon of the salt here. and half a cup of sugar. And we'll just set that aside and now I'm going to beat four eggs here. And the eggs are already at room temperature. So we're just going to, they have to be at room temperature. I guess it, it cooks better that way. So four eggs. And I'm going to mix that with my blender here. Or else you can also mix it by hand, but it's just a little quicker this way. That is much quicker than by hand. <laughs> Go ahead and add the eggs right to the dry ingredients. And we're gonna also add the milk because the milk is ready also now. Warmed up. Add the milk in there. So now we're just going to work on the yeast mixture. So to this bowl, I'm gonna be adding two tablespoons of active dry yeast. And we're also going to be adding half a cup of warm water. And we're going to give that a little bit of a mix. We're going to be also adding one tablespoon of flour to this active dry yeast. 
Ooh, my candle went out already. So much for our candlelight um, dessert I'm making. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we just mix that up. Got all the ingredients in there. We have the active dry yeast, um, the flour, and some warm water. And we're just going to wait a couple minutes until that rises. And I think it's depending on how warm your house is. I think it rises quicker. So it's cold outside. It's actually snowing right now. So I'm not sure how quick it's going to rise, but I'll just keep an eye on it and check on it. And then we're just going to add it to those ingredients. All right, guys, the yeast has now risen. So it's doubled right up or tripled in size now. And it's ready to go into this mixture here. And it did take a little bit longer than I expected, more like 15 minutes, because it's pretty cold in my place right now, so it didn't activate really quick. And actually, I forgot to let you guys know that I actually had to add two more teaspoons of sugar to this. So I did add another two, tea uh, two teaspoons of sugar to this yeast mixture as well. So, and now we're just going to give that a stir. Just give this a stir and and then we're just gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna knead it. So just make sure that there's no clumps inside. So just give it a good stir and just make sure there's no balls in there of flour that haven't uh, got mixed well enough. And we'll give that about 20 minutes and then We'll just, we'll knead it in 20 minutes. Well, it's a treat for me for Valentine's Day anyway. I hope you guys are going to have an awesome Valentine's Day today. Also, or, you know, whenever you see this video, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Give yourself a little protein blast in the meantime. Today's an indulging kind of day. You got to indulge a little bit on Valentine's Day. Have yourself a little bit of chocolate and peanut butter. If you're waiting on your massage, and don't be scared to have a little bit of a protein bite while you're waiting. And peanut butter and chocolate is a good choice. All right, guys. So it's been um, rising now for about half an hour. So you, as you can see, it has risen quite a bit now. So now I'm just going to knead it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of flour on my hands just so it doesn't stick to my hands. And we'll see if it needs more flour as well. I think it might need a little bit. It seems pretty wet. So I'm going to add a little bit more flour to that. Because the dough shouldn't be super sticky, but um, easy enough just to um, be able to, you know, manage with your hands and not stick too, too much. So I'm going to add a little bit more flour. Just so I can get a nice consistency with it. And just knead it like that and fold it, fold it, and knead it. Okay, so we're now we're just gonna let that sit for a few hours until it rises. So have a little cup of coffee and just wait for a few more hours. <laughs> All right, guys, our dough is now risen now, and it's been a couple hours. 
and my oil here is ready to go. It's super hot now and I just have it at about a high to medium heat. So we're just going to start making our donuts and frying them up and throwing them in the frying pan now. And I have a little bit of milk here just in case to put our fingers in just so it doesn't stick to our fingers. I'm just going to grab a little scoop here. And then I'm just going to like spread it out a bit. And throw it in the frying pan. It's stuck to my fingers. So I'm just going to fill up the frying pan and make these little melisadas for us. What I like to do is just spread it out a bit and then I just kind of place it in there. And if it gets a little bit stuck to my finger, I just use a little bit of milk because it gets stuck to my finger a bit. I haven't made these that many times, so I'm new at making this also. So yeah, I'm hoping they turn out good. <laughs> and I'll just make a couple batches of these and just let that fry up. It should be on a high heat, medium like to high heat. Just watch the temperature because sometimes it gets really hot and then it gets a little bit too cool. So just try to try to keep it at a medium to high heat so it can dry. They are looking good so far. They're starting to get nice and puffy here and really starting to smell like a melisada. So I am pretty impressed. Got ourselves a Valentine's Day donut. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate my melisada I made today. Just giving them a flip now. And they are starting to get nice and golden. different. I'm going to make them like a mini donut. So just a little bit of a different style. Okay, now that these ones are cool over here, I just have sugar in a Ziploc bag here. And I'm just going to throw a couple of these donuts in here. Molasalish is what they're called. Maybe two at a time is better. We'll just start with two. I just realized I didn't have my main light on. Sorry about that. But here I'm just putting the sugar, the donuts are already in here. Just give them a little bit of a coat, not too much. And there you go. They look absolutely delicious. that I am impressed. Those are some delicious melisades. So I, I highly suggest you guys give this a try at home. And here's how the melisades turned out. They look amazing. I'm so happy that they turned out just wonderful. And I can't wait to get a bite out of those. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today of these Portuguese melasadas. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. My name's Anna. And hope you guys all have a wonderful Valentine's Day out there. Take care. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>